Okay, this lecture is uh, one of a series of lectures uh, in uh, Introduction to High Performance Computing taught at the University of Texas at San Antonio. This is going to be a real quick introduction to some basic Unix command line uh, tools, mainly involving uh, users and system information. So these kind of commands that we're interested in here are going to be basically the who, the what, uh, the when, and, and so forth. Uh, about uh, users and the machine or the operating system or the files that we're going to use, although uh, we'll do some more specific file interrogation in a separate lecture. Uh, basically, I want to show you the anatomy of the Unix command line. Uh, this would be a command that you would type into the prompt or the shell uh, through a terminal. Um, we've talked a little bit about shells before. We'll talk more. Uh, the initial command, in this case, uh, the command would be ls. Uh, here, and then this is actually one or more spaces uh, followed by everything that comes after uh, the command itself and the, and the initial space uh, together taken as a whole are called arguments. Uh, um, initially you may have some options which are usually prefaced by a single dash or sometimes a double dash, uh, in this case the dash s and dash t and then after that, you'll have some other arguments, which are typically files or folders or something like that. Um, and we'll show an example of that in just a second. So uh, let's start with the who and give some examples of these types of uh, 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 commands. Uh, one command that uh, would maybe be of interest to us is uh, a command called hostname, which prints the machine's hostname. Uh, another one uh, which can provide some similar information is called uname. Uh, it uh, provides other system information, and uh, including the host name, but other machine hardware and, and other system information. And then there's a couple of commands uh, that relate to user. Uh, passwd is a, is a command that allows the user to change its password. And who uh, prints, a, uh, prints the logged in users. Who am I uh, is, is a, um, who am I, am I are actually arguments to who, uh, which allows it to do something, but you can basically receive the same information by typing it all together as uh, this term, who am I. Uh, finger displays more information about the user. So, uh, by the way, in these lectures, uh, the, the, uh, all, all the uh, typewriter font uh, are meant to be commands. So let's 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 go over to the command line and uh, look at a few of these. So as I said, uh, we can type host name. Uh, by the way, we're in a, uh, a command line here that's logged into Shamu, which is the subject of a, a Shamu, Shamu is the uh, Sun Linux cluster that's here at the University of Texas at San Antonio, uh, where we'll be doing our high performance computing. Uh, later on in the course, uh, right now, uh, the login to Shamu and, and access to a Unix terminal is the subject of a different lecture. So I'm going to assume that you know how to get here. So if we type uh, hostname, uh, we can see there uh, shamu.coe.utsa.eu is the host, host name. Uh, we can also receive this exact information uh, if we type uname-n. However, we can receive a lot more information by typing uname dash a okay and that gives us a lot of information uh, one thing that that may be of interest to us of course is whether the architecture of the of the chip that we're using the machine hardware so if we use the dash m we, we get that okay so those are a couple of uh, if you type clear we can uh, clear the terminal there and uh, I'll go ahead and show you the other ones I mentioned pass WD this would prompt me to change my password. I'm, I'm actually not going to do that, so I'm just going to hit enter to get out, and uh, it'll abort the password. But if you'd like to change your own, you can do that. Uh, who, this shows the logged in users. Uh, who am I shows that. So my ABC123 username is FES788. Uh, we can also learn more about me by typing this, and this shows uh, where our my home directory is and, and how long I've been logged on and some other things. So moving on, uh, we can go to the what. Uh, this is probably one of the very most important commands in uh, the Unix environment, the ls command, which lists the directory content 
and uh, you can you can acquire a lot of information about uh, where you are and the files and folders that are in your directory structure. Uh, we're going to talk more about uh, directory structures and also how to integrate the fi files and folders a little more rigorously later on. But ls uh, is a is a great command, and uh, and then of course the system uh, actually stores uh, a lot of information in things called environment variables and. The convention here is that they're always uppercase, uh, as I've written here, uh, my new variable. Uh, I assign a value of my variable, and, and we do that with the, uh, with the terminal command export. And this is in a bash shell. We're going to talk more about shell implementations later. There's another uh, very popular shell that uh, is called uh, C shell, CSH. Uh, that uses a little bit different syntax uh, to define environment variables. Anytime you want to access then an environment variable, you do it with the with the dollar sign. So in this case, we would echo, which simply prints to the screen uh, the variable that I assign my new variable. And uh, so I'll give you a demonstration of that. Of course, uh, ls prints the folders that are in my um, home directory. LS minus L gives us much, much more information uh, the, about permissions and user and group and other things that we'll talk more about later. Uh, LS uh, minus A gives us uh, almost as much information, a little bit different format. And we can actually combine options. So we can use uh, LS minus L minus A is a very popular combination uh, to get some information. And we actually do not have to uh, use them as separate arguments. We can type them all together. So we can type uh, ls minus l a uh, so that you don't have to type the two separate dashes. And it gives you the, the same information. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, just to show you, we'll define an environment variable. There are, there are quite a few environment variables already defined on the machine. So let's go ahead and show you one. One of those would be shell. Uh, that's our shell that we're using, which is a bash shell. Another one would be home. Okay, uh, I believe another one would be machine, maybe. Yep, okay. So kind of similar information that we pulled out of uname earlier can be accessed through these environment variables. We can also define our own. So we'll, here we'll uh, define my shell equals, uh, how about that seashell we were talking about before? Uh, evidently it's uh, possibly not installed on this machine. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, use another shell implementation. I'm sorry, I'm making a mistake here because I'm trying to access the variable which is not defined. I need to get rid of that dollar sign there. Uh, now, now we can do it. So uh, now if I want to see what my, the variable my shell is, now we use the dollar sign to access it. And we see that, uh, bin shell. And then we can actually use uh, one environment variable to redefine or define another one. So I can actually redefine shell, which is defined uh, when I log in as bin bash, uh, I can set that equal to, and I was about to make the same mistake there, I can set that equal to my shell, and now uh, you will see if I echo shell that it's been redefined to uh, not bash but uh, sh. So, uh, there's lots more things you, you can do with these environment variables uh, rather than just print them back to the screen and, and we'll talk about some of those later. Okay, and other important commands are uh, how to navigate. So if we go over here, a couple important ones um, are print working directory, PWD, uh, that tells you where you are in the directory structure. And then we change directory with CD, so we can, uh, we can CD, uh, change directory, and we can use environment variables to help us do that, or there are shortcuts involved. Uh, so this CD with the tilde uh, is the same as saying CD home, or there's even a, a different shortcut that's just CD in itself, which will also take us back to our home directory. We can use the tilde and a minus sign to return to the previous directory we were at if we're moving around. Uh, we can also use the shortcut CD dot dot to go up a directory. Um, absolute pass. Uh, start with the root directory, which is, is slash. So uh, we'll, we'll go there. Uh, so let's print working directory. You can see that I'm in home, FES 788. This is my home directory. Uh, you can see that by echoing home, of course. There it is again. Um, so let's, uh, let's change a directory. Let's see where we want to go. Let's go to the desktop. 
So now if I print working directory, you can see I'm in a different directory. And if I want to go back to home, I can just type CD and it'll take me back to home. Okay. If I want to go to the root directory, that's slash. If I go there uh, and then we print the working directory, uh, you can see that the root directory is slash. Uh, and if we see what's in it there, we can list all the folders there and we can move around and say one folder at a time. So if we go to slash home and then list, there are some users in this directory. And then if we cdfes788, we're back into my home directory. And uh, then we can even go into, say, ME53013, and you can see what's in there. So that's a little bit about how to navigate. Finally, uh, this is uh, a command that uh, just basically tells you the date. Uh, the, you know, I, I guess I just wanted to complete the who, what, where, when. Uh, date is uh, not terribly used. Sometimes we use it when we build uh, shell scripts, which we'll talk about later, which are basically a stringing together a collection of these Unix commands uh, to print some information either to the screen or to a file uh, that tells us uh, a little bit about uh, what, what happened. So if we just type date by itself, we, we see that uh, it prints the full date, but there's also some format specifiers that we can use to extract particular information. Like for instance, if we use plus percent M, then we'll get uh, you know the actual number month if we want to see the printed uh, written out month, we could use plus percent H. And there are many, many other options we can use. Now, each of the commands I show you, I have only shown you a very small uh, number of the arguments or options that are allowed. There are many, many more. Um, so how do you get help? Well, for one, all Unix commands have a man page or a man documentation. And we can bring that up by simply, simply typing uh, man and then the name of the a command we want to use. Uh, so that brings up the man pages for the document and I'll show you an example of that in just a second. And of course uh, use Google. Uh, Google's uh, such a great resource and we uh, should use it. So just uh, you know I think most of you are probably very well versed in how to search for things on Google but just use keywords like Linux LS or Unix Echo. I mean if you just type Echo in the Google uh, search window you're probably not uh, going to get the information that you're looking for. So, uh, you know, as an example, uh, we here we can type man echo and that lists the man pages. Now, uh, we'll talk about how to navigate these man pages, search them and other things, but for now, just so you know, if you'd like to exit the man page, you just type quit. So we can look at the man for LS and there's lots of options. If you'd like to go down, you can just hit the space bar. There are other ways to navigate that we'll talk about later. But there I just hit the space bar to go down the page and then I hit the end here and I'll hit Q to quit. So this concludes this uh, short lecture on, on the uh, initial, some initial introduction to some basic Unix commands.